Hello everyone, it's Chico Bro here in my room. Um, so pardon the acoustics. My studio will be finished soon and then I'll be able to sit in a place that lets me record nicely and without interruption from any weird neighbors or anything like that. But I thought we'd do a little something special today. Today we're going to be ranking shiny Pokemon and kind of throwing them on like a tier list and seeing what we can make of that. I think this will be kind of fun to do. I love kind of going through the entire Pokedex and seeing which ones are cool and which ones are not. Sometimes you find some jewels in here. I mean, I don't know. I think Metapod looks really cool. And I kind of forgot how cool Beedrill is down there. Can't wait to see what we find here. So let's just uh, get right into it. It looks a little bright on this web page, but I think it should be good. Okay. I'm not going to be tossing in Gigantamax forms or Mega forms or anything like that. I'm just judging these Pokemon based on their own merits. And the reason I'm doing that is because Mega Pokemon fix some shinies, but kind of ruin others. Like, for example, good old Charizard over here. I don't really like his Mega uh, Charizard X form. And his Mega Charizard Y form is okay, but they muted the colors on it and I don't really like it. But anyway, whatever, we're not talking about that today. <laughs> we're talking about regular Pokemon. So let's get started with Bulbasaur. I think Bulbasaur has a, like a, uh, the Bulbasaur line. They have a very, um, they have a very subtle kind of shiny look to them. I do like how they're just kind of green and yellow. Got like the little poofy, poofy pollen palm up there. I think they're pretty neat, pretty okay. Charmander's interesting. Now, you could really tell that that was the line that Game Freak was like, oh, we have to get that right, because Charizard is definitely one of the coolest shiny Pokemon there is. He's just a black dragon with red wings. And I'm gonna make a note of Charizard to include him at the end, because, gosh, he's just, he's such a classic, man. And, you know, I know it's annoying with Charizard, but he really is a classic. <laughs> and I just, I just like shiny Charizard, so I'm gonna throw him on the list. And what we're going to do is at the end, we're going to tier them all and see who beats out and who uh, who wins and uh, which shiny Pokemon just aren't as good as others from the toppest of tiers. All right, let's move on to Squirtle here. I think Squirtle's okay. Okay, I, I just feel like they didn't really dedicate to a single idea. It seems like they tried to make him purple, but they didn't go all the way with it. It seemed like they tried to give him a green shell, but they didn't go all the way with it. I think, I don't know, I don't think the Squirtle Lane is the best shiny ever. I just think they're serviceable. Caterpie and, well, the Metapod, they're all different, honestly. Caterpie's okay. Metapod actually looks randomly really cool, not gonna lie. I love, like, the deep red. It looks especially cool in the uh, earlier generations. And Butterfree, I, I think the sad thing is, is that I actually really like it shiny, but I am in the camp of most people where I much would have rather preferred the pink one from the anime. Uh, but I'm gonna take what I can get here. I do think he, uh, Butterfree here has a pretty decent shiny, honestly. Weedle kind of has the same bow as Caterpie, but I do like the consistency between Kakuna and, and uh, Beedrill over here. I do love the green. I do love how they look, and yeah, I don't know. I just, I, they really, they really connect with me. I, I especially like Beedrill here, and it's so weird, too, because I love yellow and black, but for some reason, just black and green just looks really cool and I like how the eyes get blue. It's it's a cool it's a cool design choice. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. I think that Pidgeot has kind of an underrated shiny. I like how it just kind of gets the blonde hair. Unabashedly has the blonde hair and uh, I can't judge it from the Mega, but I'm just gonna say I do love how it looks like a uh, Super Saiyan in its Mega form because it's just straight up blonde and it looks amazing. But other than that, I, I do think they're just kind of above average, but only in my eyes. I don't think these are really objectively good shinies at all. In fact, I think their regular forms look like kind of better, <laughs> you know, because they have like like variety with the red and yellow and such. Plus Pidgey kind of looks like he's muted over there. A lot of these shinies just kind of look like they're just muted colors and it's kind of a kind of a shame. But moving on, Rattata and Raticate, mm, kind of forgettable. Uh, Spiro and Firo, kind of forgettable. Ekans and eh. Arbok, you know what? Arbok, you could say. I like the gold on you, Arbok. I kind of wish they would... Okay, okay, here's the thing. I think where a lot of shiny Pokemon fail is they don't keep the consistency going. And I just, I like seeing shinies evolve into the same thing. And I'll get more into that later. Oh, possibly soon, because I see her right coming up almost next. But I just wish Ekans would be gold and Arbok would be gold. But other than that, I think Arbok's pretty okay. 
Pikachu, you know, for it's funny, for being the mascot, I always thought Pikachu would have a better shiny form, but it's just... It's just not. It's just kind of okay, you know? It's not It's not the best. <laughs> really weird. Raichu is kind of ugly, uh, not gonna lie. Oh, man, I can't judge the Alolan form. Ugh, okay. We'll have to judge that someday. But I think Alolan Raichu is amazing. I love Alolan Raichu. Actually, well, no, if they're... Well, are they on this list? Let's see, let's see. Because I, I kind of want to judge the Alolans. Sorry if this looks ugly. Uh, oh, they are here. Okay, I'm gonna judge the Alolans later <laughs> because Alolan Raichu is top tier. I actually really like Alolan Raichu. Sandshrew, uh, yeah, it's not gonna lie. Sandslash is actually actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if anyone uh, remembers Dookie Shed out there. He used to be an old like Poketuber. Uh, he actually really liked Sandslash, and he didn't know he liked Sandslash until he kind of like revisited the Pokedex Shiny Slan uh, Sandslash. And I kind of agree. I kind of like just the kind of uh, deep red of like the spikes. I think those look really cool. Ah, uh, and here we are, the Nidoran family. Okay, so Nidoran female and then Nidoran male. And what I love about the Nidoran male family is that they take the colors of the female family. That's a very smart idea, and it's amazing. And well, the female family takes the same thing as as the males. You know, they kind of like they're kind of color swaps of each other. And I think that's such a brilliant idea. Except, someone didn't get the memo, Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen becomes randomly green, and it's really infuriating. I don't really know who made that design choice. Probably the same guy who made the difficulty options of Black 2 and White 2. But I digress. Let's move on. Clefairy, you know, I, I do think Clefairy's pretty okay. I like how just subtle it is. It's got, like, the bright neon kind of ears going on. And they didn't really change it all too much. Sometimes with Shinies, you just need to do that. You just need to change one feature, and it just looks really cool. Uh, Vulpix. Vulpix is okay. Ninetales is where it's at. Oh, man. Shiny Ninetales is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to throw you on the list. Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. You know, it's funny, because I just brought up the examples of having just one or two things different with the Shinies just to make them different, but... It doesn't really work for Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. They're cute, but it's just, it's too subtle. Like, there's just almost nothing different. You know, Zubat and Golbat, not gonna lie, I like them too. I like the green. Uh, they look kind of like watermelon bats, and they're pretty cute. Oddish, you're okay. They're okay. I feel like green's pretty easy to do for a grass Pokemon. Pa Paris looks, oh, Paris looks awful. Look at that. Barely any difference. Parasect, eh. Venonat and Venomoth? Actually, you guys look really cool. Uh, I love the blue on Venomoth, and I like the subtlety of Venonat. Like, I like how it's kind of like foreshadowing the blue of Venomoth. That looks really cool. Diglett and Dugtrio. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Meowth, no. Persian, no. Psy Psyduck? Psyduck, yeah. Psyduck is actually kind of cute. I, I do like the really bright, bright blue of that. That's really cute. Gold Duck, that's disappointing. He needs to be a Gold Duck, and I believe everyone has said that before. Mankey and Primate, even though I really love them, they have bad shinies. I, mm, I don't know, not a fan. Arcanine and Growlithe, uh, they're okay. I, I kind of like how Arcanine kind of looks like a tiger or something, but eh, eh it's, uh, they're okay. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath. Um, man, it's another one of those cases where. The final form just gets a random color change. Good lord, they didn't change all that much either. Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. You know, Alakazam's okay. I mean, if you like pink, that's pretty cool, but I do think Alakazam looks way better in the base colors. Machop, Machoke, Machamp. Uh, just more green. Everything's green. Bellsprout, Victory Bells line, no. Tentacle and Tentacruel. Oh, man, okay. So... I love these shinies because these uh, these were the first shinies I ever got. In my leaf green version, I got a legitimate shiny tentacle that I caught just randomly. And now it's it's I think it's all the way up in Sun and Moon right now. And it's the biggest mistake I ever made because now shinies are completely... Uh, the, the, the trade has been hurt. Shinies are no longer valuable. But back then, they still kind of were in Generation 3. And I severely regret trading him from there, but not gonna lie, you know what, Tent shiny tentacle I didn't think looked that great, 
But now it's really grown on me. I like the tentacles. I like the uh, what, <laughs> tentacles. The tentacles. And I, I just, I like the green. I like the green and I like the deep blue. It's pretty okay. Geodude, Graveler, Golem. Eh, they're okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Ponyta and Rabidash. Now, this is a very interesting set. I do think they both look really good. But I didn't know that, like, fan perception of them actually really doesn't like uh, Rabidash. Now, to be fair, Rabidash does not look good right here. But the silver form Rabidash... That looks really cool. I wonder if I could find it real quick. One sec. Okay, so that's what I found. Apparently it looked purple in Generation 2, but then in Generation 3, 4, and 6, they kind of made it more silvery. I think that looks great, honestly. I think those look amazing. Uh, it's kind of not really done all that well here, but yeah, I don't know. I like the silver and Rabidash, not gonna lie, but I guess a lot of people don't. Slowpoke and Slowbro, nah. Magneton and Magnemite. So they're weird. Because, oddly enough, I actually really like their shiny forms, even though they're very boring. They're kind of just gray with just black magnets, and I don't know, I don't know, I, I, really, dig, I really dig them. I, I think they look really, really cool, and, and <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I am a fan. Uh, Farfetch'd, eh, Doduo, Dodrio, eh, Seal, Dugong, eh. Grimer Muck, nope. Shelter, Cloister, no. Ah, the famous. I think this is um, the first time, well, maybe not the first, but this is definitely the first that a lot of people remember, and that's Gengar over here. Now, to be fair, Gengar does look different when you kind of like com directly compare it right here, but in the games, it doesn't look all that different at all. Uh, the regular Gengar is kind of just like a, kind of a, mid-range purple while like shiny form is kind of more of a really really dark purple like getting into the gray territory and it's kind of eh. I just feel like if you got Gengar as a shiny you'd, you'd feel kind of cheated <laughs> it doesn't really look all that great Onyx kind of lame Drowsy and Hypno kind of lame Krabby Kingler it's sad because I love Krabby and Kingler but they look kind of lame you know what, Voltorb and Electrode, you could stay. I, I do think it's cool how they kind of look like Great Balls compared to Pokeballs. That's a cool little design choice. It seems like they actually tried with that one. Execute and Executor, eh. Cubone and Marowak, nope. Hitman, Hitman Lee, Hitman Chan. Oh my god, there's so many greens. And it's not even good green, it's like puke green. Eh. Lickitung, eh. Coughing and Wheezing. So. I don't know if it's just my love for coughing and wheezing because they're actually like they're either my favorite or some of my favorite Kanto Pokemon like they're they're like top five for sure but I really like them I just kind of like the bright blue on them I think that looks kind of cool and the smoke man the smoke really gets to me I, I love the smoke you know what I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna throw coughing on the list and I do think coughing looks better Honestly, coughing is such an iconic design, so I'm gonna throw coughing on the list. Sorry, Weezing. I like you too, but you're not coughing. Rhyhorn and Rhydon, nope. Chansey, nope. Tangela, it's funny, because looking at Tangela, it's kind of like the regular Tangela should have been that color, because it's like a grass type made of vines, right? Well, it's, it's blue. It feels like this would be the shiny, and that would be the regular form, so it's kind of weird. Kangaskhan looks dead. That's kind of weird. Horsey, no, no. Goldeen, Seeking, no. Staryu, Starmie. I think they're okay. I don't think they're the best. Uh, well, okay, when I hover over Starmie like this, it actually looks kind of bad. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mime, no. Scyther. Scyther looks no different. Oh, oh, the pink. Okay. Jinx, nope. Electabuzz, Magmar, Pinsir. If I'm just kind of running over them, you can just kind of assume that that's a whole bunch of nope. Mag Magikarp and Gyarados. So it's funny because I always see these like Pokemon getting to like the bottom of lists just because they're so obtainable. Magikarp and Gyarados are kind of Game Freak's favorite Pokemon to distribute as shinies. And I do feel bad for them, honestly, because to be fair, I think they have really good shinies. And here's the thing. I don't mind the lack of consistency with these two, 
because there's no consistency between their regular forms. I like how Magikarp just kind of looks like a lucky koi fish or something, and Gyarados just... Oh, just Gar Do I even need an introduction? It just looks so cool as a red dragon. Huh. I don't know. You know what? I might throw Gyarados on the list here. I think Gyarados is a classic. Even if you can get one for free in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Lapras, eh. Ditto, okay. Ditto's cool because I love the theory. Well, I mean, okay, if you haven't heard it, the theory is that Ditto is a failed clone of Mew. And Mewtwo, you know, is the successful clone of Mew. And Ditto are kind of like all the failed clones. Well, Mew's shiny form actually is identical to Ditto's. And it kind of aids to the theory that they are the same. You know, Ditto is, a, is trying to be a clone of Mew. Uh, even though Mewtwo doesn't get a shiny form of Mew. But I guess that's not even in the same argument. Because Mewtwo looks way different from Mew. So it's not even, not even fair. Eevee, you know, actually, I think Eevee's pretty okay. I kind of like just how basic it is. It's just kind of white. It kind of feels neutral in every sense of the word, but it almost feels like you just, it's kind of like a palette for like it to go in any direction, you know, with its like evolutions. I just wish its evolutions delivered, honestly, because I really don't like a lot of these. Jolteon, no. Flareon, no. Vaporeon looks cool. I, I mean, he... I don't know. Vaporeon looks okay. Looks cool, but, but I think the only reason I like it is because it actually tried. It tried to be something different, you know? Uh, Porygon? You know, Porygon grew on me. I, I didn't think I liked Porygon, but the blue and white looks really cool. Again, I like that they just dedicated to an idea, you know? Omanyte and Omastar, as much as I love them, I don't like the purple. Kabutops, uh, Kabuto, no, they're just ugly green. Aerodactyl, it's funny because I have one in Pokemon Go and it looks way better than this. It's really weird because I think these are the Pokemon home sprites, but a lot of these look very bad <laughs> compared to their actual sprites. Uh, so I'm just going to try to like remember what I can if, if some Pokemon look better. But Aerodactyl, I believe, looks better and just like, it, just not like this. <laughs> um, but I don't think it's the best one ever. Snorlax is disappointing. Articuno. The sad part is I could see what they were trying to do with Articuno. They were trying to make it kind of like more icy. Uh, but eh, it didn't really work out. Zapdos, that's embarrassing. That That's embarrassing. That's like nothing. Moltres, why pink? Why pink? It looks like one of those little rubber chicken things. I don't like it. <laughs> but why pink? You know? Dratini, Dragonair. Oh man, Dragonair actually looks really pretty here. I like the gold on its like tail. It's it's sad because if I hover over it, it becomes regular, which I kind of don't like. I mean, it's good in comparing, but it's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I like the gold, gold on it. It looks pretty good. You know, Dragonite, Dragonite's all, not all too bad either. Again, I like that they dedicated to an idea. It's He's green, but he's he looks like he should be green. Like, it looks like they made a choice where it's like, yes, this works as a green Pokemon, you know? Mewtwo, no, I don't know why it's green. Mew's okay, Mew's okay. But I don't know if that's because, just because of Ditto, you know, and it kind of aids to that, but Mew's shiny is pretty okay. All right, Generation Two. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I still think this is when the shinies were still bad, right? Even though this was the generation they introduced shinies. But let's take a look. Uh, Chikorita's line looks kind of bad. I mean, it is interesting because I could see they were trying to go for like fall leaves status. I do praise them for that. Cyndaquil. Ooh, Cyndaquil's line looks bad. I never noticed. Oh, I don't like them. Totodile. Okay, doing the blue spikes. That is actually pretty cool. I do think there is merit to having a shiny for alligator or totodile. Uh, so I, I do have to give him a point for that. Sentret and Furret? Eh, no. Not. Oh man, they made Noctowl look really bad. I remember Noctowl actually having a pretty good shiny. Home makes it look really bad. No, no, no. I, got, I gotta do this. Okay, this is Noctowl. This is Noctowl. It looks good there. Am I just thinking about the anime? Because the anime makes it look really good. I guess it is kind of lame. Really? That's kind of a shame. Huh. Yeah, it looks good in the anime, I think. 
Well, that's kind of a shame. Lady Ba and Lady In, no. Sminarak, Ariados, no. Crobat, you know, they make it look kind of muted here, but I like how it retains the green from Zubat and Golbat's design, and it just becomes such fabulous pink, and I love it. Uh, Chinchow and Lantern, they're okay. Pichu, no. Pichu, no. Uh, Cleffa, mm, eh. Even though it is literally doing the Clefairy, Clefable design, I guess I'm a massive hypocrite. You know what, Cleffa, you could stay. If anything, just to prove how much of an idiot I am. <laughs> uh, Igly, Igly Buff, it literally looks like I'm just brightening it up. Is that really how it looks? It looks pretty bad. Togepi, Togetic. A lot of these look bad. I don't remember them looking this bad. Now, Tuzatu, Marie, Family. I do like how unapologetically pink Ampharos is. I think that's a pretty cool character design. Blossom, no. Meryl, Zumeril. I wish Meryl was gold. I actually do think gold Azumarill actually does look pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of a Neopet a little bit. Pseudo Wudo, uh. Politoed. Eh, Politoed's okay. You know, I, I do like that it's blue. Kind of makes it look more like the Poliwag line. Uh, I always thought Politoed was such a weird Pokemon it would to like add because it doesn't really feel like them at all. But the Shiny's kind of bringing them closer. So, got, got to give it to that. Jumpluff's line, Apom, Sunflora's line, Yanma, you know, Yanma's pretty okay. Uh, I, like, I like it, it's just blue. It's just unapologetically blue. Looks pretty cool. Quagsire's pink, Espeon. Okay, so Espeon's interesting because it seems like a lot of people don't like Espeon's shiny because it's just kind of green and they didn't really do anything, but the way they do the green color, it it's just a very pretty looking green. It isn't just green, it's actually like a very pretty green like kind of like an emerald green and not gonna lie I'm, I'm really into it I really like her shiny Umbreon's amazing I love Umbreon shiny so much the blue oh and it makes the eyes yellow oh my god yeah I forgot Umbreon is top tier shiny I'm throwing him on the list also fun fact in Pokemon Stadium 2 up to XD maybe in Battle Revolution I'm not sure Umbreon's uh, little little patterns here would actually glow they would like fade in and fade out and it looked amazing. They don't do that in the updated graphics though because of course they don't. Murkrow, uh, Slowking, Mistrevis, Unknown, Wobbuffet, Drafarig, Pinaco, Fortress, Dunsparce, Gligar. Not really finding a lot. I do think Steel looks, pr looks pretty cool. I like that it kind of looks more gold. I think Mega Steelix kind of takes from that but we're not judging the Mega so forget it. <laughs> Snubble, Gramble, Quillfish, Scizor. You know, okay, you know what? Scizor's pretty cool. I like that it looks a lot more like Scyther as it, as the shiny form. So, yeah, Scizor's pretty cool. I, I think Scizor's probably pretty good. Chuckle, Heracross, Sneasel. Okay, the thing about Sneasel is that, isn't it like Sneasel's shiny is actually like its original... Wait, no, that's not right. Wait, what am I thinking of? Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, this is shiny Sneasel. Okay, so it is pink. What am I thinking of? Oh, I, oh, I think I know what I'm thinking of. Okay, Sneasel Sprout. Okay, yes, that's it. So, okay, so Sneasel had, like, this sprite. I mean, this is like its regular, like, this is how Sneasel's supposed to look, right? And this is how it looked, uh, I don't know if that was in, like, Gold and Silver or it was in Japan, but the, 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 um, what is that color? It's like brownish? I always thought that was the shiny. I thought they like mixed them up or something. I kind of wish the new one would reference that because it would be kind of a cool little reference to how they changed the colors. I don't know. I, I, I really like the old Sneasel colors and I'm kind of sad that they were lost. And Teddy Ursa and Ursaring. Okay, Slugma and Macargo. I am gonna put Slugma on here. <laughs> Um, it's funny because I actually was going to do a top 10 shiny Pokemon way back in the day, back before I, before any of you guys showed up. Uh, I think 
I didn't even have like 100 subscribers yet. I was gonna do a top 10 shiny Pokemon, and Slugma actually made number number 10. Um, I actually really like shiny Slugma. I love the kind of like metallic lava it kind of goes for. I forgot like what it is, but that's like apparently a real thing. I don't know if it's like when it's like cooled or something, but it looks so good. And it's so sad because Macargo does not carry that along and it's it's the worst thing ever. I, I don't know why Macargo doesn't carry that. It becomes purple. Why? Why? I don't get it. Swine up, Pila Swine, Corsola. You know what? Corsola is pretty cute. I like the bright blue on Corsola. It, it's pretty cute. It goes with the sea theme. Remoraid, Octillery, Deli Bird. Mantine, Skarmory, Houndour, Houndoom, Kingdra. You know, it's funny because doing VGC, I'm seeing a lot of shiny Kingdras now because everyone, you know, cheats their Pokemon in and no one works for it anymore. But seeing the purple Kingdra, I think just after a while, it kind of just got beaten to my skull that shiny purple Kingdra actually is pretty legit. Um, I prefer the blue, but honestly, shiny purple K Kingdra, it really grew on me over the years. Fampy, Dawn Fan, Porygon. I love the original Porygon, and I love it because Porygon 2, as well as Z, carry it on, and I still like the shiny. Stantler, Smeargle, Tyrogue. Um, that's interesting. It seems like they tried to go for an idea with uh, Tyrogue and Hitmontop. Which is funny, too, because Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan still look awful. But it seems like they tried to go like silver with like blue shorts for Tigrogue and then silver but with like purpley pink sh stuff for Hitman Top. I gotta I gotta admire them trying. I, I do think they look pretty cool. I, I would never have uh shiny Hitman Top over the original though, that's for sure. Smoochum, Elekid, Magby, Miltank, Blissey, Raikou. Oh, okay, so we're getting to the legendaries, and they're usually pretty good. So, Raikou... Raikou's cool. I I'm, a, I'm kind of a sucker for when Pokemon Shinies kind of make them look more like their type. And Raikou does look like an electric type in its regular form, yes, but it just looks even more electric in that form. Entei's interesting. Uh... I didn't think I liked Entei, but the more I saw him, the more I started to like him. I liked how seasoned he looks in this form, and I like kind of just the more subtle kind of look of Entei in this form too. I like that the star is just kind of gray now, and the fur is just more brown. I don't know, usually I don't like muted colors, but I think for Entei it really works. A Suicune's a weird beast, because I do think he is kind of the worst of the three. Definitely not my favorite, uh, on terms of shiny, no, I'm, I'm not talking about the actual just Suicune in general. Um, but, you know, Suicune's okay too. Larvitar, uh, not that good. Pupitar, okay, I like Pupitar only because of what it does with Tyranitar. Because look, the purple for Pupitar becomes like the purple kind of like chess piece for Tyranitar over there. And I do like the consistency there. I do think that looks really, really cool. Uh, but Shiny Tyranitar, I don't know. I feel like they could have done a little bit more with it. Talk about a design that I would love to get like a black alteration for, or maybe some sort of other reference out of it. I think it's serviceable. I just, I don't know. I just, for Tyranitar of all beings, I think Tyranitar should have looked a lot cooler. I don't know. Lugia? Is it me or is Lugia oddly lame for its shiny? Why is it pink? I, I don't get that. That That's such a weird color for Lugia, you know? I would much rather prefer the regular Lugia. Like, blue and white looks amazing, but pink and white and red? I don't know. Ho-Oh, okay, here's the thing with Ho-Oh. So, I always wanted it to be like the color of the rainbow in its shiny form, but I do realize that that is 100% like probably going, putting too much faith in Game Freak there. Not to mention its regular form is pretty much kind of going for as much rainbow as it can. But I don't know. Uh, I just, I still wanted it. But you know what? Shiny Ho-Oh is actually really cool. The silver, the yellow, and the red kind of makes it look more like... I don't know, kind of more of a fire type, and it has grown on me over the years. Celebi, okay. 
I don't want to spoil anything, but Celebi is on my list. <laughs> Shiny Celebi, I'm putting him right here on the list. I mean her. I mean her. Generation 3. Okay, so I think this is, this is when Shiny Pokemon started getting pretty decent. Because it seemed like Game Freak started actually trying with some of the Shiny Pokemon this generation. Uh, let's take a look, shall we? Trico, I... Okay, here's the weird thing. I don't actually like Trico Shiny all that much. I'm not a fan, and it's so weird, right? Like, it's my favorite Pokemon, but I don't like its Shiny form. I much prefer the regular form. I almost think just Trico's kind of... I don't know. It's sad, too, because I could see they tried with, with Shiny Trico. It just didn't land for me, and I don't like any of their Shinies crazy enough. Torchic is amazing. I love that it inverts the colors. That is the cutest thing ever. And we're going to get to the part that's sad, because then Combusken and Blaziken completely messed it up. Why didn't they do inverted colors as well? I will never know. They would have looked way better. So, Mudkip and uh, Marshop and Swampert, I think they're okay. I, I don't know. I kind of would have preferred like a more like kind of like mud theming with them. Maybe if they had more brown in there. I don't know. Um, but I do know that like some people really like Shiny Swampert, so I'm going to try not to hate on it too much. Poochiana, Mightyena, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. I think they're pretty okay. You know, usually I'd be kind of like, eh, they just look kind of, eh, but I, I don't know. I like that they tried with them. Zigzagoon and Lanoon, I could tell they didn't really try with them. <laughs> Wormpulse, Silcoon, Beautifly, eh, Cascoon. Whoa, Cascoon's really green there. I didn't never notice that. Pretty cool. Dustox, pretty okay. You know, I, hmm. Actually, that's interesting. It seems like they didn't really change up dust talks all too well. Huh, it seems like they didn't really change up dust talks all that all that much. What a trip. Lotad, Lombre, and Ludicolo. Pretty good shinies. I, I feel like if you get them, you'll feel pretty okay with getting a shiny Pokemon. C Dot, Nuzleaf, Shift Tree, pretty okay as well. Tail and Swellow, eh, I don't know. Wingle and Pelipper, I'm not the biggest fan. I never really liked them. Even though I love Pelipper, I don't like... And Wingle, I love Wingle too. I don't really like this, the green. It just cause it looks weird. Ralts, Curlier, and Gardevoir. You know, I do like them. I do like them a lot. Uh, the blue looks pretty cool. I think it's definitely like a cool kind of alternate palette between them because they don't change them up all too much. So it really is a matter of just like deciding what like shiny you uh, what form of or what color of Gardevoir that you like the most or for the Gardevoir line because it has either blue or green and they don't really change all that much uh, and I can't bring up Mega Gardevoir because I can't so <laughs> because that would be a way different story. Surf get masquerading they're okay. Shroomish, Breloom, uh, uh, Slacking's family, Ninjask, no. Explouds, Hariyama, Azuril, that's interesting, because isn't Meryl green as well, and then Azumarill's gold? Eh, I appreciate Azuril for trying to be consistent with Meryl, I just wish Meryl would be more consistent with the, with Azumarill and be gold. You know what's weird? I actually own a shiny nose pass, and I kind of forget. I literally was playing X and Y casually one day, and I ran into a horde, and it had a shiny nose pass in there, I'm like, oh! Okay, shiny nose pass, and I think it was like the third shiny Pokemon I ever got legitimately, I think, because X and Y, oh, funny enough with X and Y too, um, I wonder if I should save this story for when I get to X and Y, I'll just save it for when I get to X and Y, don't worry, I won't forget, but yeah, nose pass is like my third shiny, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, I like the gold, I like it when rocks, rocks turn gold for some reason, I don't know why, Skitty, Delcaddy, uh, Sableye. Okay, so Sableye doesn't look that amazing on paper. It just kind of turns gold. But, okay, here's what I love. Sableye's gems are, like, red and blue to, it, to like, you know, kind of... It, because it's supposed to be, like, a ruby and a sapphire. And it's shiny. Sableye's gem turns green, emphasizing emerald. I think that's really cool. That was a really cool idea. And yeah, I'm, I'm really into it. It was a really cool uh, spin to put on Sableye. 
even if it's not the main color of Sableye. Mawile looks kind of bad. Uh, Aron, it's funny because I don't actually really like the shinies of Agron's family all too much, but the eyes, man, the eyes, those deep red eyes, they look so cool. Meta Titan, Metacham, they're okay. Uh, Metacham looks pretty good. I like that it's just blue. It's pretty cool. Electric looks disappointing. Manectric, though, looks really cool. The gray looks really, really cool. Uh, I, I don't know what it is with Manectric, but it just... Every so often, I'll see Manectric, and I'm like, You're a really cool Pokemon. You're like kind of like the underrated Luxray. <laughs> um... And Luxray is already kind of underrated. <laughs> Plus old Minan, kind of disappointing. Volbeat, Elamise. I feel like I just don't like them in general, so it's kind of hard for me to judge. Roselia. Okay, Roselia and Roseraid. I actually really like them. I, they kind of have the same thing going, but they went into to a different direction compared to Sableye. Because Roselia has a red and a blue rose. And in its shiny, has a purple and a black rose. And they're kind of like the rare roses. And I'm kind of into that. I think that's a really cool color choice for it. It feels like it was purposefully made instead of just like, uh, just make it pink or something. I like it. I like those colors. Gulpin and Swalot, they're pretty okay. Carvana and Sharpedo, no. And it's sad too, because with Sharpedo, I feel like Sharpedo deserves a better shiny. Whalmer and Whalord, are they okay? Numble. Camerop? Does Camerop actually look that cool on a regular basis? Because that is actually a really cool color for Camerop. That, uh, the gray here. I'm gonna look that up. Okay, let's see. Ooh! Ooh! It does look cool. I love Mega Camerop here. Oh man, I mean, I can't judge on Mega Camerop, but... Yeah, I don't know why. Camerop looks kinda, kinda rad. If only it was a better Pokemon. Man, I, I like that. Oh, that's cursed. <laughs> I am going to throw camera up on the list because I feel like it needs some representation. Torkoal, Spoing, Grumpig, Spinda, Trap Pinch. You know, it's funny because with Trap Pinch, I don't usually like inconsistency, but it's just so cute that I think it makes it shiny cuter where it's just like, look at me, I'm just a little green bean. I'm kind of into it. Uh, Vibrava doesn't really do anything special. Flygon, I feel like Flygon could be better. I don't like it shiny all that much. And it's sad too, because I think Flygon's pretty much my favorite non-legendary dragon. So that's kind of a shame. I, I wish I liked it shiny more. Cacturn, Technia, Swablu and Altaria. I do think their shinies work. I like the gold on them. They look pretty good. Zangoose actually has a really cool shiny. The blue, I don't know why it works. It just, it really works. It looks really cool. So Viper, uh, it's trying something interesting. It looks like it's, it's like in JoJo colors right there. Lunatone, Solrock, Barboach, Whiskash, Corfish, Crawdont, Baltoy, Claydol, Lilip. Nothing's really getting to me. Cradily, Anorith, Amaldo, Phoebus, Milotic. Okay, Melodic or Milotic or whatever. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I guess I'll just say Melodic because I think that's the way to say it. Well, Melodic, I think Melodic has a really good shiny alteration. I think it looks really just flat out good. I, I remember people saying they didn't really like it, but the gold looks good and it just feels like if you were lucky enough to get a shiny Feebas, then you deserve <laughs> like that as your prize, a gold melodic, and it's just, it looks good, it looks good. Cast form, family, uh, they're okay. I know uh, MNJ TV really likes the shiny forms for them, but I think it's just because he likes cast form, right? I, I just, the shiny forms are okay, I just don't think they're the best thing ever. Kecleon. It's sad too because I play a lot of Mystery Dungeon and I wish so bad Shiny Kecleon would look like the Kecleon brother from that. Like this is this is how this is how like the, I want the Shiny to actually be. Uh, kind of the purple with the green. That looks way better. They look way cooler, you know. But no, that's not what we got. Unfortunately, we got uh, kind of a weird pale green with blue. 
I do appreciate the stripe changes, but eh, it's not enough. Shuppet, Bennett, Duskull, Dusclops. I really like them too. I love Duskull and Dusclops, but nothing much with them. Though I do think they looked better in the generation with, like, having red alterations. But I don't recall or not. Tropius, Chimeco, Absol, Why Not, Snowrunk, Glalie. Again, Glalie, like, or again, just with those eyes, it just makes them look so cool. And goodness, it's funny too, because Glalie, I think, is kind of randomly terrifying as a Pokemon. And seeing those red eyes makes it even more scary. Sfeel, Celio, and Walrein, uh, Clamperl, Huntail, Gorbis. Gorbis, that is a really good gold. Relicanth's family, well wait, wait, why did I say that? Relicanth is just by itself. I guess I'm getting tired. Love Disc, why do you get a good gold shiny? You don't deserve it. Bagon's family, you know, I if you're gonna go green, go green like this. I do think Salamence's family kind of rocks it here. <sighs> it's sad because I, ugh. Beldum's family, they're just famously good. I have to throw them on here. Metagross's family. <laughs> I mean, come on. They were made to be good shiny Pokemon. Look at that. Sil uh, their regular blue is just blue and white or clear or whatever. And then they're metallic and gold. It just, it's too much, man. They're out of control. They're amazing. Regirock, you know what's weird? I actually really like Regirock Shiny, even though I, I know it's not the best thing ever. But I love just the brown in it. It just looks brown. It looks like a piece of chocolate, and I love it. Regirace is kind of underwhelming, so is Registeel. Latios and Latios, I feel like it's a missed opportunity. I feel like you could have swapped their colors. It would have been really cute. Kyogre and Groudon have some of the worst Shinies I've seen. I'm sorry if you like them. I don't like Kyogre or Groudon Shiny. I don't feel like it compliments them at all. Uh, I just don't know, like, what's the point of them? <laughs> like, I just don't, I don't know the point of them at all. Uh, and I'm not judging the Primals, because, again, that's a completely different story. Um, but I don't like their Shiny forms in their just regular states. Oh, uh, I gotta throw Rayquaza on the list, too. <laughs> Rayquaza has a famously great Shiny. It, they, they knew what they were doing, and it's just absurd. It, like, black with yellow streaks, it's just absurd. Look at how good that shiny looks. It's unfair. Jirachi is okay. Deoxys, it's funny, because for my favorite mythical Pokemon, I do think Deoxys is kind of an underwhelming uh, shiny form. I wish they did something else with it, honestly. They should have made it look really cool. Even if it was a subtle thing, like kind of changing the gemstone so it would be green, like in Destiny Deoxys, I think that would have been a cool little Easter egg or reference. I don't know, would have been cool. Generation 4, and it's funny too because I feel like this was the one that kind of felt like out of place. I don't remember a lot of good shinies from this one, but it but this was also the gen they started caring more? Or was that in Generation 5? I don't know. Let's just jump right in, shall we? <laughs> Turtwig's line is kind of bad. I don't like their shinies here. I'm getting I'm getting uh, Trico flashbacks here because it seems like the starter starts off good or not good but just okay and then they just get progressively worse. Chimchar looks oddly bad too. I'm not into Chimchar. Piplup. Whoa! None of the starters look really all that good. That's kind of sad actually. Starly. Okay. I like the blue streak on Staraptor's kind of like thing on its head. But other than that, they're not that good. Neither is Bidoof and Bibarel. Whoa, I don't really like a lot of these. Okay, we're getting to the good ones. Uh, Cricketot and Cricketoon. Okay, Cricketot's adorable, but I'm sorry. I don't I don't like your guys'... I, 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 Cricketot's adorable. Cricketoon's adorable. And I think that's kind of like making me like them a lot more in their shinies. Seems like they both are just kind of like, look at us, look at what we put on today. And I'm just like, I can't be mad at you. You guys look great. Okay, Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray, it's, it's just, it's one thing when the family remains cons consistent, it's another thing when the shiny just looks really good. The yellow looks amazing on these Pokemon, it makes them look like true uh, electric Pokemon, and oh man, it's so good, they're just, they're so good, man, they're so good, I, I think I'm gonna throw them on the list. 
Badu. You know, I never noticed Badu's trying to go for what Roselia and Roserade was trying to accomplish. I respect I respect Badu for that. Roserade, yeah, I love the colors of Roserade, I've said before, just like with Roselia. I like that even though they're a generation apart, there is consistency there. I do appreciate that. They could have just made them pale or something, but they, they actually cared. Craniodos and Rampardos, yeah, they look better blue. Chiala and Basiodon look really bad. Burmy. Oh my god. <laughs> Burmy is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. And I'm not even being ironic about that. I think Burmy is legit adorable. And wow, it's shiny is bad. That is a bad shiny. That Oh my god, they're all bad shinies. Motham is the only one that tried. He feels like the father that just kind of came with his family and no one dressed up for the occasion. And only he did. And he's just like, oh, and he has to like salvage the situation. <laughs> I feel for you, Motham. I feel for you. Combi and Vespaquen could look better. They don't look amazing. Pachirisu, no. Buizel, Float Soul, Shruby, Sherim, Cherim, whatever. Shellos, Gastrodon, Ambipom. Man, don't like a lot of these. Drifloon and Drifblim. I like them. I like the gold, and I like the really, really bright blue they go for. It, I think it's one thing to like their designs already, but I do like just how they how extreme they look it really looks like they were like all right let's just throw whatever at the wall and see what sticks and i appreciate they're just not pale versions of the regular ones i do like how if you get a shiny drift loon or a drift blim you look like you actually found a legitimate shiny pokemon it they are pretty cool baneri and low punny eh. miss magius haunch crow glamial perugly chingling Stunky, Skuntank. Why did they make him rose-colored? That's kind of weird. And Bronzor and Bronzong. Eh, they're okay. Bonsly. I mean, I don't like Pseudowoodos, so it's just Stan I don't like Bonsleys. And it's sad because Bonsly is actually my favorite baby Pokemon, so that makes me really sad. Mime Jr. Eh. Happini. Eh. There's a lot of just eh Pokemon in here. Chatot looks okay. I like that they did try to make the colors different. Thank you for at least trying with Chatot. <laughs> Spiritomb. Okay, Spiritomb looks cool. <laughs> the the blue mixed with those purple like things that looks cool. That looks really cool, and I'm into it. I, I think that's a really cool design. Gibble, Gabart, and Garchomp. I think Gibble starts off pretty okay. Gabite's pretty disappointing, and Garchomp is one of the famously worst shiny Pokemon that you could possibly have ever. They barely change up Garchomp, and it does make me laugh because I feel like I have a personal vendetta against Garchomp because of my love for Flygon, so I'm just kind of laughing. I'm like, haha, you got a bad shiny. Ha, ah, poor, poor Garchomp, honestly. Mm, Munchlax is as bad as Snorlax. Riolu and Lucario. I do like the yellow. They kind of remind me of like Neopet status again. <laughs> like just kind of that bright yellow. They do look good. Uh, I do respect them and I do think they do look good. Uh, not to mention good old uh, Kakyoin has a shiny Lucario and it looks very amazing. So I think that probably swayed my opinion of it. And they look good without the Mega and you can't say that every single day. I thought Hippopotas looked better but maybe I'm just thinking the female form. Hippowdon, Scoruppy, Drapion. Okay, to be fair, Scoruppy tried. I think Scoruppy looks pretty good. Drapion didn't try. Krogunk and Toxicroak? They're pretty okay. They're very inoffensive shiny Pokemon, but they're, they're okay. Carnivine, Finian, Luminian, Mantike, Snover, Obama Snow. I don't even know what they were trying to go for with the blue. I don't think it works there. Weavile. Now, I do think Weavile looks pretty good. I like how unabashedly pink it is. <laughs> it is a really cute color because it feels like those should be Sneasel and Weavile's colors in general. But I think they're very designed. They're very well designed Pokemon, and I do think their shiny forms really complement that. So, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna throw Weavile on the list. Magnezone. Wait, no. Magnezone doesn't look like that, does he? I thought Magnezone looked more like the other... Wait. Shiny Magnezone. Let's see. Yeah, wait a minute. It doesn't look like that. 
Yeah, wait, that's what it looks like. See? It's like the gray, the gray, and then more of the gray. I mean, it doesn't follow it to a T, but at least tries. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't have... Unless it's on the bottom. No, because we see it. What the heck? Wait a minute, regular Magnezone doesn't even have that. What the heck? Pokemon Home got it right way wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say Magnezone doesn't even look like that and it's regular. Wait, hold up. Oh, oh, I got confused for a sec. Um, but yeah, it doesn't even look like that in its regular form. Pokemon Home, you got that way wrong. What is wrong with you? I mean, first you don't even let us transfer Pokemon for Pokemon Go, and now this? You're absurd. Licky licky. Meh. Rhyperior, Tangrowth, Electivire, Magmortar. Like I said, a Tangela Shiny, I think it's pretty unique because it looks like how it should just look in general. So, good on you, Tangrowth, for keeping that consistent. Togekiss. Yeah, Mega's sad because I don't like the shiny, but I appreciate it exists because it is a pretty decent shiny, honestly. But as a big fan of Yan Mega, I don't like the blue. I felt like they could have did something different with it. I I just I think palette swaps look, would have looked really cool. Just make the red, the green, and the green the red. Like what's wrong with that? Just do that. Leafeon. Okay, you want to know something crazy? Actually, it's funny, too, because if I hover over it, it looks like the regular form is the shiny form. Looks way wrong. I think Leafeon is kind of underrated. And it's funny, too, because on paper, it looks like a really bad shiny. <laughs> like a really bad shiny. Like, it looks no different. Let me see if I could find, like, a sprite. Let's see. Okay, yeah, let's try this out. Uh, let's see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so these are the regular forms. But it just, it, I like just the brightness of shiny Leafeon, because regular Leafeon is pretty cute, but this, it just looks like it's like bursting to life here, and it just looks really cute. Same with Glaceon, like it just looks, it kind of looks more like an ice cube in this form. I like how just vivid these ones look. They look really pretty, even though I know they're not all too different from the regular forms, which is disappointing, but they're pretty, man. They're so pretty. They just don't look shiny. I mean, they look technically shiny, just not, you know, on uh, on Pokemon terms of literally being shiny. <laughs> Gliscor. I hear a lot of love for Gliscor, but I think you just have to be a Gliscor fan. I think Gliscor is okay. I think mm, pretty okay shiny. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Pretty okay shiny. Mamoswine. No. Porygon Z. You finished it off well, Porygon Z. I gotta tip my hat to you. You look great. Gallade. You look pretty good too, the blue. Probopass, the gold, I like the gold. Dusclops, you look very disappointing. So do you, Frostlass. I hear people don't like the Rotom family's shiny forms, but I dig them. I think they look pretty cool. I like how uh, in these forms, because you see Rotom has blue here and then red here and then, well, blue again. And then, like, it kind of tries to go with, like, the typing. Like, it has, like, the aura and the electricity or whatever. But in the shiny, it's just all red. I like that consistency factor. I think that looks really cool. And I do think red is actually a pretty cool color for Rotom. Uxie, Mesprit, Nazelf. That's interesting. I could tell they're inspired. I feel like they did try with them, but... It's very interesting. Okay, you know what? They're pretty solid. I'm actually looking at them more now. They're pretty solid. Dialga and Palkia. I don't think they have the best shiny forms ever. I'm kind of sad about that because they were given away at like GameStop. Um, they're okay. Heatran's kind of disappointing. Regigigas. Eh, Regigigas is okay, the blue. It eh, looks pretty okay. Giratina. Hmm. I feel weird because. <sighs> you know what? No, Giratina, you do look pretty cool. It did look like you tried. It looks kind of. It, it really does kind of kind of look inverted like it kind of looks like negative a little bit and Just going off of like what Geratina is That is actually kind of a cool call for it. So you know what Geratina you're pretty rad Cresselia you're very pretty. You're very very pretty the blue is really good on you and the purple that looks really good as well Fiona Manaphy you're pretty Yeah Darkrai, nah, especially with Darkrai, I feel like the one Pokemon you do not want shiny 
at all is Darkrai because it kind of destroys kind of the cool design of Darkrai with the kind of the black and the red and the blue eye or whatever. Well, this one it's like, yeah, it has a green eye and like a pink thing and like purple, you know. I don't think it works for Darkrai at all. Shaman, eh, I don't know, I don't think so. Arceus, you know, I think it just being kind of a pale gold kind of works for Arceus because it is the god Pokemon and, eh, you know, just a simple shiny for like just kind of a simple kind of color palette. I think it works. Moving on to Generation 5, I do remember a lot of good shinies from this generation, so this should be interesting to say the least. Victini? You know, the white does look pretty okay with it. I'll give it a pass. Snivy, Servine, Superior. I think Superior looks randomly kind of okay, but the pre-evolutions are kind of whatever. Same with Tepig's family. Like, there's no consistency, but Embor looks randomly pretty cool. I'm a sucker for blue flames. I never noticed Embor is kind of like Mega Charizard X before Mega Charizard X. It's kind of funny, actually. Oshawott's line, it's okay. I actually randomly like Dewatt's. I think Dewatt looks pretty okay, <laughs> oddly enough. Patrat, I like that they just changed his insane looking eyes. I think that's kind of a cute little detail. Same with Watchhog over there. I think it's pretty cute. Lillipop and Hurtier feel uninspired. Stalin's pretty pretty good though. I think Stalin looks pretty good. Purloin, Liper, or whatever, Pansage, Massage, oh the monkeys. They look as bad as you think they would. Muna, Musharna, pretty cute. I wish there was more consistency between them, but they look pretty cute. Padov, Tranquil, and Unpheasant, eh, whatever, they're whatever. Blitzel and Zebstrika, I really would have liked a yellow color scheme to go with them. I mean, I know they're zebras, but that would have been really cool. Not gonna lie, maybe if they just made like the like electric kind of fur into it, but kept the white stripes, that would look really cool. Rog and Rolla, okay, Rog and Rolla, oddly enough, no, but Boldor and, and Gigalith over here, I love the blue. That looks really good. Like, it, they just look like the crisp, they look like crystals, and oh man, that does look really good. Yeah, I, I really like their shinies here. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna throw them in the list. Woobat and Swoobat, meh. Drillbur, Excadrill. I've seen Excadrill so much in VGC, and I'd, I thought I would like it shiny, but I don't really like it all too much. It feels like it's just kind of whatever. Though they did try with it, to be fair. I don't know. Uh, Timber's line's kind of bad. Tim. Tim. Timpole? Timpole. I never noticed its names are similar. Timber and Timpole. Uh, Palpitoad, Seismitoad. Actually, Seismitoad actually does look pretty cool. That's a pretty cool shiny. Throw and Sock. Uh, they need to be better. Swaddles, Family is okay. Venipede and Whirlipede. I think Scolipede looks randomly kind of cool. I don't know what it is about Neon Blue, but it does look really cool when it's done well. And on Scolipede, it is done well. Whimsicott, too? Whimsicott oddly looks kind of good. I've seen it quite a bit in VGC as well, and there's a lot of shinies. I kind of like it. I kind of like just kind of the fluff and the blue and the and the brown body. That, uh, that does look pretty cool. Petalil, Lilligant, eh. Baskalin, no. Oh man, they don't even change all that much in their shinies. That looks really bad. Sandile, oh, here we go, baby. Crocorock and Crocodile. I'm throwing Crocodile on the list here. God, I love these shinies. They look so good. Oh man, I really wish Sandile would have joined in on the party, but I'll take what I can get. They, These are really cool looking shiny Pokemon. Darumaka and Darmanitan. Eh. Zen mode. Uh, Maractus. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You tried. I appreciate that you tried. You showed up and you tried. Uh, Dwebble and Crustle. Dwebble didn't look like he tried. Crustle looked like he tried. Scraggy and Scrafty. Same situation. Just the pre-evolutions don't change, and then the evolutions do. I don't like that. Sigalyph, you tried. You mask. Okay. You know what? I actually do think these are pretty cool shinies. I like the silver on them, and I like the consistency because the silver mask 
Silver coffin, gold mask, gold coffin. I, I'm I'm a sucker for that. Not to mention, I do think it's cool that we have so many Yamask colors now, like with the eyes and stuff. Because now we also have Galarian Yamask. So there's like four different looking Yamasks, and I'm kind of into it. Totalga and Caracosta, no. Archon Archaeops, no. Trubbish and Garbodor, I want you guys to look better. Okay, okay, to be fair, in Pokemon Home here, Garbodor does actually look pretty cool. I like that they change in the color of the trash itself. That is actually kind of a cool idea. Ooh, Zora and Zoroark. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm throwing you guys on the list. <laughs> um... I'm throwing both of them on the list, too. So, this is interesting, because I usually don't like inconsistency, but I do like them. I do like the both both ways they went. With Zora, they tried to go more of an interesting neon direction, and they made it kind of more bright. Uh, I do appreciate kind of like the more, like, what is that? More of a brownish gray look, instead of just being straight out like purpley gray. I think that's a good look. And they changed all the features on Zora too, so it really looks like they tried. It looks really pretty. And Zorark looks so good. I love Zorark so much. And seeing the purple uh, kind of fur on it, and the purple claws, and the gold eyes, it's just, it's top tier, man. It looks so good. Mincino's line, no. Gathita's, no. Solosis, no. Ducklets, Vanillites, no, Deerling, Malga, Car Carablast, Fungus and Mungus. I feel like I need to praise them because they did kind of the same thing that Voltorb and Electro did, where they kind of like changed kind of the Pokeball colors on them. So, Fungus and Amoongus here, um, yeah, yeah, they're, uh, I do appreciate they tried. And they tried to give them kind of like the different colors, you know. Frillish and Jellicent. Oh, I'm thinking of the female forms, because I'm like, I thought these guys looked better. <laughs> Alomola. Well, at least they didn't give it a really good shiny. I appreciate that, because that's kind of a forgettable Pokemon. Joltik and Galvantula. I thought they looked better. I think Galvantula look, looks better in, in its base game, too. Huh. They make it look kind of bad for home. Pharaoh Seeds. Bleh. I really don't like Ferrothorn. I don't know what they were trying to go with that, because, I mean, to be fair... It's regular form looks pretty perfect as it is. The silver and... It's silver and green, which is grass and steel. It's exactly what you think it's going to be. But red and gold tan? Eh, I don't know. It's just... Eh, it could look better. Clink's family? They're okay. I like the green. I think that's kind of a cool direction to take Clink. It's pretty cute. Tynamo? Eh, I thought these guys looked better. I would have I would have liked them to look a lot better because I do think they're kind of an underrated family. Tynamo, Electric, and Electros. Or Electric, sorry, and Electros. Elegem, Behem. Eh, kind of disappointing. Ah, Litwick's family. I do think they all look really good, but Chandler is top tier, and you know it's going on the list. I love Oh, I mean to be fair, base Chandler looks really cool already, but shiny sandaler and how they make it more fiery that is really really good design axio fracture and haxorus i feel weird putting haxorus on the list here because i feel like they fixed it compared to making a like a cool looking pokemon better i mean to be fair haxorus does look pretty cool but you know what screw it. i'm gonna have to put haxorus on the list it was actually actually now i think about it Haxorus was my second legit shiny Pokemon because I actually did the black two white two thing Where you get the shiny Well, okay, I don't think it counts as a legit shiny Pokemon then because my first legit shiny Pokemon was Tentacool And then my second one that's legit that I caught in the wild with full odds is another Pokemon that we'll get to <laughs> Cub Chew and Bear Tick, they're kind of disappointing. Kragnall, eh yeah, I mean, to be fair, Kragnall looks pretty okay. It's just not the best. Shelmet and Excel Selgar. They look pretty cool. Pretty cool. Stunfisk, you randomly look pretty cool as well. <laughs> Mei and Fu, Mei and Chao, pretty okay. Dredagon. I appreciate that they were very self aware with Dredagon because Dredagon has very extreme colors and it's a very extreme design. 
and it's shiny is very extreme too it's like a really bright green and a bright yellow it's kind of ugly but so but then again so is dredagon so kind of fits gola and golurk i really like them to the point where i much prefer their shinies over their regular forms honestly the regular forms should look like their shiny forms it looks that good i like the darker colors and kind of the more dedicated um lighting for their eyes and chest it looks really cool ponyard and by sharp they're pretty good color alterations Buffalons, eh, Rufflet. Braviary looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really cool. I wish it kind of went for more red, white, and blue, kind of like the American flag, but that's a really cool shiny. It's a really cool one. I love the blue Braviary form. It looks really good. Volby, Amanda Buzz. Uh, Heatmore looks really cool randomly. What the heck? I didn't expect Heatmore to be this cool. That's a really cool shiny. Durant. It's pretty okay too. Dino as well as an Hydreigon. I feel very weird with them. I, do I like them? Okay, you know what? I think I do. Especially with Hydreigon and how it has kind of the purple kind of things around its head. I can dig that, honestly. And they do try. Like, I see it's consistency with me. It just... I love consistency in Pokemon families, so I gotta give it to them. They look great. Larvastone, Varcorona. I feel like I should like them more, but I don't. Cobalion looks pretty bad. Terrakion looks... It just They tried with the Musketeer Trail, but they don't look that good. Tornadus, don't like you. Oh, yeah, I forgot their forms. Don't like you, don't like you, don't like you. Uh, Reshiram, okay. This is gonna be interesting. So... A lot of people don't like Reshiram's shiny form. And to be fair, I see the custom ones uh, where they make Reshiram black and Zekrom white. Those look amazing. And not gonna lie, I kind of would have wanted that. But Reshiram is actually my favorite legendary Pokemon. And I like that they just made the subtle change to just white to white with golden wings and red eyes. I think it's just a very good looking restaurant <laughs> and I think that's why I like the shiny so much and you know what I'm gonna put it on the list Zekrom I feel very bad with Zekrom too because Zekrom got screwed look at that shiny it doesn't look that good at all it really needs to look better oh oh speaking of restroom and Zekrom too restaurant okay to be in the regular form restroom's tail here like glows red but in shiny it grows purple I don't really like that but the green on Zekrom's tail actually does look really cool, <laughs> not gonna lie, uh, compared to its regular blue. Landris, don't like you, as usual. Curum? Hmm. I don't know. That's a toughie. I think Curum's pretty solid. I don't think it's the best, I don't think it's the worst. I do like how they were, they got consistent with the shinies and, and when they, like, fuse i like that it was consistent there keldeo eh, no keldeo again no meloetta no meloetta no genesect it's honestly one of the best shiny pokemon ever that is a really really good shiny pokemon and what i like about genesect is that it's not like standard cool shiny colors where it's just like oh they made it like black or Oh, they inverted it or whatever. It's just like an original take on Genesect, and it looks really good, and that is why it is getting on the list. Generation 6 Pokemon. I am skipping the Megas here. I don't feel like it's fair to list them because it's kind of weird. Plus, a lot of them are kind of the same anyway. It's just some of them... I don't know. Okay, here we are. Chespin... You know, you know the sad thing? I think Chestnut actually has a pretty good shiny color. To the point where I wish Shiny Chest, or, or sorry, uh, Shiny Chest Knot. I think Shiny Chest Knot has a really great shiny. To the point where I wish Shiny Chest Knot was just Chest Knot, you know? Because look at Chespin with its regular colors. Look at Quilladin with its regular colors. And then look at Chest Knot with the shiny colors. Doesn't that look consistent like the family? I think it does. And I really wish I could have seen that. Shiny Fennekin looks randomly really cool. It looks randomly really cool. <laughs> I wish Bryxen and Delphox carried that on, but whatever. <laughs> Actually, it's weird, because I see they were trying to carry it on. Like, at least Delphox. He was like, see, I could be silver too, but it was too little too late, Delphox. 
Froakie looks bad. Froggedeer looks bad. It's a shame they... Whoa! Yeah, you better believe it. Greninja's going on the list. It's definitely one of the sh best shiny Pokemon ever created, as well as the best Pokemon ever created. Or one of the best. Bunnelby and Diggersby. Oh, God. I just... Oh, Diggersby, though. It's just... Mmm. That is not a good look. But to be fair, it's very consistent with Diggersby design already, so gotta give it to you, Diggersby. You did a good job. Fletchling, Fletchinder, and Talonflame. You know, it's funny because these Pokemon were on top of the world at one point. Talonflame was one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the entire game, and I remember seeing the shiny one, and it just kind of looks pale, and it just, it, it doesn't look good. It, it's just, it's a very underwhelming shiny Pokemon, and it's kind of sad they made it look like that. <laughs> I, they could have done way better. Whoa! Oh my god! Wait a minute! Did they actually invert the colors for S Scatterbug's family? What the heck? That's like my favorite thing they do and I never noticed that. Oh my god, Scatterbug though. They look great! What the heck? Oh, Lit Leo looks bad. I mean, okay, I'm, no, no, not Litleo, I'm sorry. Priora looks bad. Litleo looks pretty okay, I guess. Flabebe. Now, here we go. So, first day into getting Pokemon X and Y, I actually got a shiny Flabebe. And it was kind of mind-blowing, because at the time, that was before shiny Pokemon rates got raised. And we didn't know in X and Y that the rates got raised. Uh, so when I played it and I got a shiny Flabebe, naturally, I think it was literally like the first encounter I got, maybe second, but I could have swore it was the first. Um, and I, yeah, I, I saw it and I was like, wait, is that shiny? So I caught it and it just, it showed the shiny icon and I was like, oh my god. I have a shiny Flabebe. I remember going online and telling like people too, I'm like, oh my god. People, I got a shiny Flabebe, and they're like, oh no, it actually has different, like, flowers that change with it. I'm like, no, 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 seriously, I got a shiny Flabebe. It, like, it actually, like, did the sparkle. No one believed me. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my second, uh, legit shiny Pokemon I've ever gotten is Flabebe. Fla uh, yeah, Flabebe. And it's okay. It's not the best shiny Pokemon ever. I do like how they remain consistent with the flowers, but it's not the best thing ever. Skiddo and Gogo, -Go, they're okay. Pancham and Pangoro. It's funny too, because I keep saying a lot of them are okay, but you could tell with this gen, this was when they really started to care about shiny Pokemon. I really started to care about making them look good. And Pangoro and Pan Pancham, even though they look, don't look the best, they look like they tried. Furfrau looks great. I love Furfrau. That looks great. The black, that looks really good. Esper. Pretty cute, the little pink, little pinkums is pretty cute. Uh, Meowstic's forms look really cute as well. Oh man, the memes with these two, so nostalgic. I love them so much. They're definitely some of my favorite cats. Hone Edge. Now, Aeg, uh, hmm, they make, they make them look weird here. But to be fair, Aegislash has one of the best shiny forms ever, and I am definitely throwing him on the list. Black Sword, Gold Shield, Red Tips. It looks great. Spritzy randomly has a good shiny. And it's kind of sad, because honestly, I think Spritzy is a very, very cute Pokemon, but good lord, Aromatisse looks awful. <laughs> Swirlix and Slurpuff, they kind of feel like the Diet Alolan uh, Raichu, which we'll eventually get to, but I do like how they're trying to look more chocolatey. Inkay and Malamar have pretty good shinies. Binacle... To be fair, you don't look good anyway, so it makes sense you have kind of a weird shiny. Uh, Dragalge and Skrelp. I do like how Dragalge kind of has, like, seaweed on its head. I do like that. It looks more like seaweed because it's supposed to look like seaweed or algae or whatever. Uh, ooh, Clauncher and Clawitzer. Fun fact, I actually traded for one of these online. I think they look great. In fact, I am going to throw Clawitzer on the list. Uh, I do think Clawitzer has a really good shiny form, and, uh, yeah, yeah, so does, so does Clauncher here. I think they're, I don't know what it is about, like, crabs and lobsters and crayfish or whatever, but I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Helioptile, something about the nose on Helioptile rubs me the wrong way. I'm just like, the rest of your body's yellow, 
Why does your nose turn turn red when you're shiny or whatever? That's weird. Uh, Heliolisk looks pretty good, though. Tyrant, I don't know why you're blue. It just feels very uninspired. Aurorus and Aurora, at least with them, I'm like, okay, you're ice-type Pokemon. You look like ice, but why would Tyrantrum and Tyrant? I don't get that. Sylveon has a good shiny. I think that's a really good shiny form for Sylveon. Not to mention they inverted the colors. Halucha. Um... It's good. It's a good It's a good look. Dedene. Eh, whoa, oh, sorry, I was hovering over it. You know what, that's pretty cool too. You look exactly like a Lolan Raichu. What a trip, I never noticed that. Carbink, you're okay. Uh, Gumi's line looks pretty good too. Klefki looks really cute, I love Klefki. Phantom, I don't like the red, but I do like the rest of Phantom's family. Looks really cool. Pumpkaboo is adorable. Oh my god, they have all the forms of Pumpkaboo on here. <laughs> it's cute, it's serviceable. Bergmite and Avalug. Oh my god, Bergmite looks like a little mustard thing. He looks so cute. Noibat, Noivern, they're okay. Oh, mm, shiny Noivern, you know what? You look like you should be an ugly shiny, but you're pretty good. Xerneas, oh, they even use the ugly blue one that I hate. Uh, okay, I feel like I shouldn't like these shiny Pokemon, but I kind of do. And for one reason, it's just for the consistency factor. I like how they're all kind of white. They keep their main colors, but they're white. And that's actually a pretty cool change with them. That's a pretty cool decision. Uh, Deontay looks barely noticeable. Hoopa looks pretty dull, honestly. I don't like it. Volcanion, what is with that shiny? That is a weird shiny for, Volca for Volcanion. It should be blue and red, not red and not yellow and purple. All right, here we go, the Alolan forms, and then we're gonna get the Generation 7. Rattata, Eradicate, now. Alolan Raichu is top tier. I love you, Alolan Raichu. I'm throwing you on the list. You know what, Sandshrew and Sandslash actually look really good as well. Vulpix and Ninetales don't look all too different. You guys don't look all too different. Uh, well, from the regular shinies anyway. You guys... I think you guys look like how you should just look in this region, because you're dark types now. You look pretty okay. Geodude's family... I think Graveler looks randomly kind of cool, how just dedicatedly brown it looks. I think that is a good look. Not to mention, I did get one about a month ago in Sun and Moon. I was trying to... I think I was trying to get a, like, galvanize... Graveler or something like that. I ended up getting a shiny one. So I don't know. I might bump up my uh, perception of it Whoa, oh actually though Alolan Grimer and Alolan Muck They look cool. I love how they look like the original forms I'm a sucker for when they try to go for the original looks. I'm a sucker for that Executory look pretty bad Marowak, I never liked. I never did. Uh, shiny Marowak, or Lola Marowak, I never liked, despite me liking its regular look. Ugh, what the heck? Zygarde looks really weird in that sprite. Ash Greninja, um, I don't like how it just, it feels weird, because one, you can't have the Pokemon legally, so that's kind of weird, so it kind of feels fake. And two, <laughs> um, I don't like how they don't keep anything of shiny Greninja. It looks just like, it looks like they tried to do shiny Greninja, but like not make it all too different from regular Greninja, but that's the reason why we like shiny Greninja, so I don't get it. They needed to just make it more shiny Greninja colors. It looks like it's very muted. I don't like it. A Zygarde, it's very white. Not in a good way, though. It's kind of just overblown. The... Okay, here we go. The actual Pokemon of this generation. Uh, I don't think Rowlet has good shinies. I think Decidueye is okay, but I'm not a huge fan. Litly, uh, Litten's family is kind of in the same boat. I don't know why you would give him white. And it's sad, too, because looking at these shinies, I could see they really tried, but why white? I don't get that. That's, that's kind of a weird choice for Incineroar there. Poplio... Mm, Brion Primarina. At least with Primarina, it looks kind of blonde, and they kind of like made it more prettier. I do like that. 
Uh, pick a peck. I do like how they change the colors colors of the beaks. Those look really good. Young goose and gumshoe. They're okay. Uh, okay. Randomly though, people were singing Vikavolt's praises, but Vikavolt is a really cool looking shiny, and it is going on the list. The metallic mixed with that like neon green. That is a very very good look for Vikavolt, and it just, it completely owns the original design. It looks great. Crab Baller and Grab, Grab Bombable. I don't know why I couldn't say that today. They're okay. Uh, Oricorio. Whoa. Shiny Oricorio looks really cool in the, in the Bale style. That looks really cool. Yeah, the Pom Pom style looks kind of lame. And so do the others. Okay. The, the Pau style. They invert the colors. Why invert, but some, but not others? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Okay, that's inverted. That's not. That's inverted. And that's inverted. Okay, you know what? Oricorio, you can stay. Good for you. Uh, Cutie Fly, Ribombe, they're okay. Rockruff? I think Rockruff Shiny is cute in its first stage, but once it reaches Lysenrock, I don't really care for it. I like the consistency between all the Lice and Rock forms and how they kind of become the same color. I think that's really cute, but not a not a huge fan, especially for Dusk Form Lice and Rock, because I love Dusk Form Lice and Rock and the orange color it has going. So, yeah, the shiny one, I'm just kind of like, whatever, you know. Wishy Washy. It's pretty cute. Marini, Toxapex, pretty cute as well. Mudbrain, Mudsdale, pretty okay. Dupider and Araquanid. Those are actually really cool shinies, not gonna lie. Uh, purple mixed with red, that's really cool looking. Flamantis, Lorantis, Morlul, Shenonic. Honestly, it's not even like a meh with a lot of these. A lot of these look really good. Oh, Salazzle and uh, Salandit. Oh, I gotta throw Salazzle on the list. I love Salazzle. Shiny Salazzle looks so good. Stuffle, Beware. All these look really solid. Boon Sweet, Serena, Comfy, Rangaro, or whatever. Passimian, Wimpod. Is it me or is, ran is it random? Because, like, Shiny Wimpod is actually really really adorable i think that's a really randomly good shiny it's funny too because on paper it's like what does it do it's like oh it just turns like kind of a shade of red for like the front of its body and a little bit of the back but it just looks good it's just a good it's just a solid shiny oh <gasps> here we go sandy cast and palace sand they are definitely some of my favorites and you know they're going on the list yeah palace sand and sandy gas they they look like the black sand beaches that is gorgeous, man, and I love it when they're very creative like that. And, I mean, you could say it's like, well, it's another black shiny Pokemon that's supposed to make it look really cool, but... I don't know, man, I'm a sucker for it. Pukumuku. Uh, pretty cute. Uh, Technol. Technol doesn't really change all that much, neither does Savali. It's okay. Minior. <gasps> oh, I've been hunting for this thing in Sun and Moon to no success. I love Minior so much. I would kill for a shiny Minior so bad. So bad. I want a shiny Minior so bad, and I am definitely throwing it on the list. This has to be one of the best designed shiny Pokemon in existence, too. Because here's the thing. With the other forms of Minior, you have, like, you have, like, five other colors. You have, like, blue, yellow, red, or whatever, pink. And the, you see those little, like, triangles? Well, in the shiny, well, I mean, in the regular forms, they don't really change. They just kind of are the colors that they are. But in the shiny form, ta-da, they change into all the different colors of Minior, and it is amazing. I would give so much to have shiny Minior. <gasps> Kamala. I talked about shiny Kamala on my top 10 spooky Pokemon list, and its log changes color. That is really cute. But then you gotta ask, is it really the Pokemon itself? I don't like thinking about it. Uh, Turtonator is okay. Togedemaru, that's kind of the first dud I've seen of the generation. The should look way better. Mimikyu. You know, it's funny too, because like, again, on paper, it shouldn't work. But the muted colors suit Mimikyu 
really, really well and make it look even creepier. I'm into it. I think, I think that's a good example of how to just be a subtle design for a shiny. And you know what? I'm gonna throw it on the list just for being a good example. Bruxish, you're very extreme. I gotta respect that. Drampa, pretty, nah. Oh, da, da, da. Man, you guys are really pink. There was Delmize, and then uh, Jengmo and the Komo family. Very, very pink. Very pink. Tapus. Uh, yes, they are very, very excellent shiny Pokemon. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Should I throw them on the list? I do like them, but I don't want to throw all of them on the list. I feel like I got enough black Pokemon in here already. Uh, they're good. They're very good. They're very, very good. Just, uh, headcanon that they're on the list, I guess. Cosmog. <laughs> Shiny Cosmog looks no different. Shiny Cosmorum looks a little different, though. It's really weird with these two, Sogaleo and Lunala. I actually do like their Shinies. That being said, for Sogaleo, it looks kind of weird. I do like it, but it looks kind of weird. But Lunala is really good looking. I love the kind of like Blood Moon kind of look it has to it, and I'm going to throw Shiny Lunala on the list. The Ultra Beast. It's funny too because I haven't actually seen any of these shiny. Crazy enough. I almost didn't think there were shiny forms of these Pokemon, but yeah, there are. I don't really like them. To be fair, I think it's also just kind of my fault because I don't really like the Ultra Beast in general. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. Shiny Necrozma looks really ugly and I don't like it. And so do the fused forms. I get what they were trying to do. They're smart by I don't like what they, <laughs> I don't like what they try to do, but I get what they try to do. They try to do the red, and then they try to like you know, cause like Necrozma is all about light, so it kind of like put light on the red, and that's why they're like kind of like pinkish now. I appreciate that that they tried, but I don't like it. <laughs> Ultra Necrozma, kind of hard to see, but he just kind of turns uh, gray a little bit. You know what? That's pretty cool. It looks like Necrozma when he was drained of light after you beat him, so. I'm into it. Magearna, that's what that's what shiny Magearna looks like. I have the Pokeball Magearna from Pokemon Home and interesting. Interesting. So many Magearna forms. I wish they did more with it. Marshadow looks really bad. Poipole. Oh man. Poipole and Naga Nagadenol. I like them. I like their shinies, especially Nagadenol. Because it feels very inspired. I'm gonna throw you on the list, bro. Stakataka, you're okay. Blaze fell on, you're okay. Zero Aura, you look really cool. Uh, Meltan, Melmetal. As much as I love them, I don't like their shiny. Sad, sad to say. And here we are, Generation Eight. Uh oh, jeez. Uh, wait, I need to reload the page because I actually really like Galarian Slowbro and I want to show him. Oh, it's just it's uh, not gonna show him. Well, guess I gotta search it up. Yeah, this is uh, Galarian Slowbro right here. Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. Very small. Uh, zoom, 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 zoom. Eh, kind of hard to see, but I really like Galarian Slowbro shiny. I didn't think it would look this good, especially compared to, like, Slowpoke here, because it kind of just looks like it's going to become yellow, but no, it's a good-looking shiny form. I like it. But anyway, moving back to the list here. Uh, Meowth... I do appreciate it trying to look like the original Cantonian Meowth, but it didn't go all the way with the feet or anything, so eh, it's kind of whatever. Ponyta, that's a good look. That's a good look. Shiny, shiny Galarian Ponyta. Slowpoke and Slowbo like him, of course, like I said. Uh, oh, funny enough, Farfetch'd here. Um, it's practically indistinguishable. Like, you cannot tell at all. I actually had to breed a... Uh, shiny uh, Galarian Farfetch'd for a friend on Discord because uh, I have Switch Up Game Enhancer I told him I'd do it and I had to it was really hard to check um, for a shiny Farfetch. I had to like check my Pokedex to see if I even got one because they're so hard to tell apart and it's they're just bad but Surfetch looks pretty good uh, at least it looks like a shiny Weezing I feel like I appreciate it more if it one, changed the color of the smoke, and two, tried to go for the original Cantonian colors. I feel like I'd like it a lot more, but for some reason it's brown, and I don't, I don't know why, even though I love Reezing. Mr. Mime looks really bad randomly. Corsola. 
It's funny too, because that's a very subtle design choice change, but I'm going to throw you on the list, uh, G. Corsola, because you look swell. I really like your design. I might end up putting Cursula on the list instead, but we'll see. Zigzagoon, I appreciate the extreme colors, they just don't appeal to me, but I appreciate those colors. Darmaka and Darmanton look oddly bad. I, wow, I didn't think they looked that bad. Uh, Yamask, pretty cute. Stunfisk, kind of bad. Grookey looks okay. Grookey's line looks okay. Scorbunny looks kind of bland. Raboot and Cinderace actually look really cool, but it is funny because it seems like they're trying to recapture the magic of Greninja again. It's kind of like making them look really cool and stuff like that, but I don't know. I'm, I just have weird feelings towards Cinderace in general. I think they look cute though. I do like the gray fur. That looks really good. Um, Sobble's line, you know what? I appreciate him for rocking it because he just, he, he chose the color at first and they remained consistent and and uh, finished off really well with Inteleon, so I appreciate that. Squalvet, Greedent, look kind of bad. Rookie looks really cute and it's shiny. Cor uh, Corvusquire or whatever, very good foreshadowing into Corviknight. And Corviknight is one of my favorite shiny Pokemon, and I have one for myself on Sword and Shield, and I really love it, so I'm throwing Corviknight on the list. Uh, and I really like G Shiny Gig Gigant to Max Corviknight as well, but we're not judging that, so, yeah. Um, Blip Bug's line is pretty cool. I think they're a randomly a pretty cool bug family, so, yeah, they're pretty cool. Nicket and Sheevil, Thievil, or sorry, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, pretty good as well. Wooloo has a great shiny. I really like shiny Wooloo. Oh, it's inverted! I never noticed that! It's inverted! Mmm, so good! Choodle, Dreadnaw, pretty okay. Yamper looks kind of bad. Boltund, kind of bad. I don't like Roly Coley's family here. I think they look need to look way better. Why blue? Like, why blue? Why couldn't you make him red? Like a deep red? That would look sick on him. I don't know why they did that. Applin, Flapple, and Appletoon are just, they're so smartly designed that I just gotta love them. The green apples, it's so cute. Also, Appletoon is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I love it so much. I would kill for a plush of Appletoon that like smelled like apples or something. I don't care if it costed $200, I would buy that thing and just love it for the rest of my life. Silic Silicabra and Sendaconda, oddly, not that great. Cramorant, you're pretty okay. Mm, Barascuda, Kuda, they look pretty okay. I don't like Toxel's line. It's funny because I see these on VGC sometimes, Toxtricity's line. I don't like them. I don't like the shiny forms. I just think they look very underwhelming. I don't know. I don't like just kind of bright pink. It doesn't really work for them. Sizzlypaw, Sizzlypede, I do like how they just kind of change one thing, and that's just kind of like the scales. That looks pretty cool. Clobopus and Grapplock, they feel very inspired. I think they're very above average shinies in this generation. Uh, very subtle design choice with Sinistee and Pultigeist. They look pretty good. Hattery, Hatrim, and, and uh, Hattene, Hattena, or whatever. Pretty, pretty solid as well. Impidimp. Yeah, they look really good. They're really good shinies. Grimmsnarl looks really, really good. I thought I would like Grimmsnarl, but I don't like shiny Grimmsnarl as much as I thought I would. Obsagoon, same thing as Zigzagoon. Perserker. Um, you know what? It's actually a really good shiny. I, I kind of dig it. Okay, Cursula. That is who I'm throwing on the list. That is who I'm throwing on the list. I love you, Cursula, but Cursula, man. I am throwing you on the list, bro. Surfetched is okay. It's just kind of yellow now. I think it's okay. Not the worst. Not the best. Mr. Rhyme. Oh, did they try to make it look monochrome? That's a cool design choice if they did that. I like that. Runorigus is okay. I like how you can kind of see the more like kind of weird like cell shaded look it has when it's shiny. So that's pretty cool. Milsery is kind of underrated. I do like 
the just kind of the black eye change. I think that looks pretty cool. Al Kremi looks gorgeous. I love I love that. It, it's weird too because you wouldn't think it works for that because it's like supposed to be a treat. So why are they becoming like a cool black coloring? But eh, hmm, I don't know. I think it works. Okay, this one's gonna be a hard one. <laughs> I legitimately own a shiny Flinx that I mods a method. Uh, and it's funny too because I did that even before switch up. I actually sat there with my switch and hatched eggs until I finally got a shiny phalanx. I don't know if my love for phalanx is actually like um, altering what I think about this shiny because I think it's a good shiny. I just don't think it's the best. But f spoiler alert if I ever do a top 10 favorite Pokemon, phalanx is actually my second favorite Pokemon of all time. The first is Trico, the second to, the second one is Phalanx. That's right. If I was if I made my channel in like 2019 or or 20 or whatever, it is very possible I could have been Phalanx bro. I don't know. I think it's a good shiny. I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's the best, but I do love Phalanx. Pinkurchin, Snom, Frozmoth, Stone Jorner, pretty good. Ice Q, Indeedy, kind of weird. More Peko looks kind of bad. Uh, q -Fent, whatever. The fossils are very interesting because they don't look that great, but th when you take into account that they're kind of like dead, then that actually does kind of add to it for me because they look very vibrant, and then you take away the color and they're gray, and they're all just gray and, and just fossil and just dead and stuff, and I think that's a really cool design choice to take for it. Dreepy's line. Honestly, I think Dragapult has a very disappointing shiny. I don't know why it's yellow. It's just kind of random. I don't know. Uh, Zacian and Zamazentas are kind of... Eh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan. Um, Eternatus is kind of the same. It's just kind of... I don't know like why they made them the way they are. Like, why pink and why blue? Like, light blue. It just feels very weird. I don't know. And Eternatus is whatever. Well, they actually have... Uh, Eternamax Eternatus on here. It could be shiny. What a trip. It's kind of weird. And I guess it didn't load the rest, so... I don't think I like them anyway, so... Whatever with that. <laughs> uh, but let's get on to the tiering, shall we? Let me just make it real quick. Alright, so this is my final tier list for all the shiny Pokemon here. I, I didn't try to put them in zero. I tried to put them just like one two three four and five just I, I think these are the best of the best these are pretty much my favorites of all time and uh i don't know i kind of just wanted to uh, rank them out like this just to give a better perception of what i feel about these so yeah camera up i feel weird putting it here but you know what it impressed me so i thought it deserved that spot camera doesn't really get a lot so i just thought it deserved it mimikyu is a good look for mimikyu makes it look a bit creepier Coughing, I love what they do with the smoke. I kind of want to put it at two, but it's not too impressive. So, I don't know. It's just kind of like, okay, you know. Um, Nine Tails is also pretty good as well. Just not the best. I definitely think it's pretty, though. Gigalith is very pretty. Gyarados is really cool. Slugma is very cool. Two, the twos were kind of just the, these are really cool looking, shiny shinies, compared to like the big boys, you know, while the ones are kind of just like, these are pretty, pretty good shinies, you know. Uh, the threes, Chandelier, Salazzle, Chrysala, and Clawitzer, all very excellent shinies. I don't think they're legendary status, but they're kind of reaching that point. Fours are kind of like the really big solid ones. Uh, as you can see, I put Charizard, Umbreon, Luxray, Crocodile, Aegislash, Corviknight, Palisand, Lunala, and Vikavolt. These are very legendary, shiny Pokemon that are just like super duper amazing. And for five, these are my pretty much my top tier shinies that ever existed. Celebi, Metagross, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, sorry, Alone and Raichu. <laughs> um, as funny as it is to put them there. Genesect, Greninja, Minior, I just think these are really, really good shiny Pokemon. Uh, I mean, geez, Minior, like, just, it's so unique, you know? Like, no, I don't think any other shiny Pokemon is able to change so many of their colors like Minior does, you know? And has, like, that unique, it almost has, like, it almost, like, I don't know how to say this, but it almost has, like, a different body part that Game Freak gave it just for it to be shiny. It changed those little specks on its body. That's going above and beyond, man. 
Greninja single-handedly made it one of the best Pokemon on top of everything it already had. Uh, actually, that makes no sense to have it single-handedly, but also on top of everything else. So, <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. Uh, it's a really good shiny. Genesect is really, really good. I love Alolan Raichu to death. Rayquaza is a very excellent shiny. Metagross is a very excellent shiny. And Shiny Celebi is hands down my favorite shiny of all time. So there you have it, folks. That's my shiny list. That's uh, my shiny tearing and my shiny lists. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a little bit of something new from the Trico of Bros. It is very hot right now, and it is nighttime, so I am going to uh, relax and under my fan. I really don't have anything else to say. That is funny. Uh, I'm gonna go play Fall Guys. Special thanks to my top tier patrons Trico Simp, Teru XD, Krakioe, Bumblebutt, and Liddy Kitty. <laughs>